Hello everyone, I'm Never Die. welcome to my channel. This is a weird one. I um, wasn't really sure what I was drawing here. So we've got Gerald poking around at what looks like a rock, which turns into a turtle. Very sweet, innocent turtle. But then this Never Dot Wholesome comic universe suddenly takes a dark turn. And then we've got Gerald he thinks he's going to adopt this sweet, wonderful turtle. Um, we would never have violence enacted on it. And I just changed my mind as to whether that was Rachel or Claire. Because I didn't want to draw the glasses, I think. Um, but yeah, Gerald's just going to eat the sweet little turtle. Which is very out of character for me. I'm not... I, bleh, I don't have sudden cruelty in my comics. So... I really, I don't know, I just had the mental picture of a, of a burger turtle. It's something I want to make someday. Like, you could do it. You could have a bun, nice round bun, shape a little head out one end, use a pickle or something, I don't know, uh, bacon tail, cheese legs, and then you got a turtle. Sounds like a cute Instagram thing. Somebody do it and then at me, at never.world on Instagram, uh, at never.dot on TikTok. Yeah, I would like to see that. But... This is not a live turtle. This is not a real turtle. Um, in the Never Die world, to be alive, you have to have eyes, generally. I guess not always, but you should have eyes. But more specifically, those eyes have to have an eye sparkle. The two white dots, two or more uh, white dots, determine that you are alive. That you have some kind of a soul. Uh, if you don't have that, then you're just an object. And the turtle here I very intentionally drew with pickle eyes. It is not alive, so don't feel bad about being gobbling up this wonderful burger turtle. Even though Claire is clearly traumatized, um, yeah, Gerald's just gonna eat it. I mean, I think he made it. I think Gerald just made it himself. It's not like he discovered this turtle. It was always there. So, it's not eating it. Peter. you don't need to get all on my back. I'm not... Well, I mean, it is a burger. Okay, you can get out. You can get on my back. It's fine. Free piggyback rides, everyone. Not everyone. <laughs> the, the, the burger turtle is just a good idea. Somebody do this craft, please, um, and try it out. I think it's a brilliant food craft. And mothers everywhere, and the occasional father, every seventh one, uh, should try it. Not every mother, no. Some. Anyone's mother whose letters are a prime number of characters in the name. I've got to start the comic out, though, with a little less obvious that it's a bun. So, because the shell of a turtle should be green. So, I need to put this in darkness. In dark, make it blue. Very dark. Um, so people don't know what it is immediately. You need the slow rev revelation that it is a sweet little innocent turtle before gobbling it up and just destroying it and making people feel bad. Uh, so... Yeah, we just got to mask the identity of the thing in the original panels using darkness. The darkness isn't really justified in this comic because I don't know why the lights would have been off. Um, but I needed it, so whatever. It's just going to happen. <laughs> Who cares? Uh, if, if it's important for things to happen for a reason, then, then talk to my comic lawyer. I will link them in the comments never because I don't have one. So... We've got ambiguous shape in original two panels, and then Gerald just eating it. And again, the physiology of these characters makes the world a little bit challenging to draw, because the burger I was thinking was on the table, like a kitchen table, counter, whatever. Um, but that posed a problem, because the characters, particularly Gerald, his legs and head are on the floor. He can't really be at a table as such, or he, he'd be under it. So. Doesn't work for him, uh, so I often have to get rid of furniture or adjust furniture for the characters. So that's what you have for this week. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me, and I look forward to seeing you guys next week.